you're compelled to do compelled. what Jesus tells you to do, yeah. even though folk don't understand. Tell him. Because get this, God told you to do. Yeah. If he wanted them to understand, he would have told them too. Yeah. But because he, you know why he didn't tell them and he told you? It's because he don't want you to let them talk you out of what needs to be done. Jesus looked at this man. What is that? What is that? Isn't that what it said in 10 verse yes, 21? That they all gathered themselves back together and looked at him and said, this man is mad. Yeah. Out of his mouth. They were talking about Jesus. But Jesus said, okay, I'm not going to let y'all bother me because there's a need. Right there. And here, I'm going to speak to that need. Um, um, son, stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Now, I could probably see him still hopping, kind of really hesitant because he realized what the law says, that healing can't take place on the Sabbath, especially not in the synagogue. But Jesus says, stretch forth your hand. Because your hand. Yeah. you look at the text, he said it twice to the man. Stretch forth. Your hand. The man probably has some reservation because he knew his friends was around, but he realized that he had one deformed hand, but if it was going to be made complete, if he's going to be made whole, if he's going to be restored, he had to do what Jesus said do. Stretch forth your hand. I can see him looking out the corner of his eye, wondering what his mama and daddy is going to say, what his brother and sister going to say, what his friends are going to say. But Jesus said, stretch forth. And the text says the man stretched forth his Hand. And in stretching forth his hand, God restored him back to wholeness. And there's somebody in here right now. God just wants you to be obedient to the words of his son. 